Ah, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Another cracking day. Eh, hey, fuck yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm going to talk to you about energy. Um, spiritual energy and atomic energy. Now, when you, when you gestate, when the sperm meets the ovary, after 49 days, uh, the fluid that makes your brain and lungs uh, goes and sits in the base of your spine. Now, this fluid is known as your kundalini serpent. And uh, when you get older and... Um, yeah, yeah. The whole idea is to raise that kundalini serpent from the base of your spine at your lower chakra up through your sacral chakra, your solar plexus, your heart chakra, your throat chakra, your third eye and out your crown chakra. And uh, that's how you become enlightened. But... um. I've got a problem there because 10 years ago they gave me a spinal tap because they thought I had meningitis, an infection in the brain, and uh, they sucked the fluid out. So I no longer have a uh, kundalini serpent. So I, um, yeah, I basically can't raise me kundalini anymore, so I've got no chance of enlightenment. So, uh... Yeah, I'm out of the game, but that doesn't mean you're not out of the game. But um, everything around you is made of atoms. It's got a nucleus with electrons going around it, and it's uh, negatively charged, most of them. Most are inert. And uh, you're made of atoms as well. So every cell, every, your liver, your eyes, your ears, everything's made of atoms. And you're mainly... Uh, main basic atom in this 3D dimensional world in this universe and galaxies and um yeah oh that's better I'm a vampire um yeah and um yeah you're made of atoms as well so in this atomic world that you live in I call it the atomic prison um, yeah, everything's oscillating. Now, it depends on the depth of the shape and the element it's made out of. The shape, density and element is uh, what it gives off as a frequency because it's a molecular structure. So this table here gives off frequency. The oven, the way it's shaped, density, what it's made out of gives off frequencies. Everything in your house is given off frequencies because atoms are oscillating. They vibrate with the electron going around them or a couple of electrons. Depends on the element. And, um, yeah, they're all vibrating. If you took a proper photo of the atom, atomic world around you, it would all be fuzzy because um, the, the quarks in between the atoms holding the atoms together, they're quarks called quarks, yeah, and they oscillate, and, um, yeah, yeah, so, with your, se your seven chakras, with your seven chakras, uh, they're energy centers in your body, your whole body's got an electrical system, and, um, yeah, the crown chakra, the third eye, the throat, the heart chakra, the solar plexus, sacral chakra and lower chakra, the energy centres. And um, you've got a cones coming out the front of you, energy cones, and energy cones off the back of you. And you receive frequencies and you give off frequencies. So, yeah, yeah. But remember, your atoms as well, so... If you've got um, two trillion atoms in you, imagine all the electrons spinning around. So really you're one big walking electron. Everything's a walking a fucking electron. 
the world's full of fucking electrons just going around the nucleus. And, um, yeah, the protons in the nucleus. But, um, like, you walk up to an apple tree and you go, right, eh? This apple tree's made of atoms. And then somehow you've got to either magnetically or with some form of stick, a magnetic signature or something, have something that you can wave over the apple tree and turn all the um, turn all the atoms in the uh, apple tree into positive atoms. Uh, change the protons in the nucleus because they're negatively charged. But yeah, you have to... To do that, you'd have to take an electron off the valence of the atom. Um, yeah, or maybe add an electron to the valence. Somehow you've got to uh, change it from negatively charged uh, apple atom into a positively charged atom. And then, uh, yeah, see if the tree grows really fast or if... Um, or if um, you eat the apple and atomic... Positively charged atomic apple. Yeah, so... But yeah, everything's energy, you know, and they talk about Feng Shui. Feng Shui, I call it. Oh, Feng Shui! But, um, yeah, everything you put in your house is giving off energy, and you got energy coming in your doors and in your windows and... <clears throat> it all gets blocked up in your house and you need a good chi flowing through the front door and out the back door and yeah you need you need all that in your house your chi to be good so your chi in your body is uh good you haven't got blockages everywhere but emotions uh baggage emotional baggage will block your chakras Um, I suffer from PTSD from being a soldier and um, my solar plexus is blocked because that's where I hold a lot of fear and anxiety. So my solar plexus is not performing at 100% in the electrical system, but I can just go get a Reiki healing and get it cleared. So, yeah, yeah, but I've, you just got to learn not to have fear. That's... That's the key, no fear, man. And, um, yeah, your solar plexus will flow good. But that's solar plexus is where a man's strength is in his uh, solar plexus. That's a man's strength. But, um, yeah, yeah. everything's magic. It's, it's, it's all magical. It's like... We're in a movie and uh, in this electron and atomic world and, um, yeah, the seven archangels, earth, wind, fire, water, electricity, magnetism and gravity are your props in your movie. They, they're the ones you, you bow down to and uh, give thanks for your food and your breath and the earth to stand on and your house and your dog and your mum and dad and... Yeah, because without the seven archangels, um, we couldn't exist. No alien can exist without them either. So even the aliens bow down to the seven archangels. But all you got to do to praise the seven archangels is um, get a quartz crystal, uh, get a nice glass, pour some crystal water in there, uh, light a candle and light an incense stick and say thank you archangels this is my little my little thanking to uh invoke the angels into my life and uh yeah that's all you gotta do and when you eat something just say in your mind oh thank you archangels or mother nature for my food and uh yeah you're pretty right after that then you just manifest everything into your life into your movie yeah, so it's all about manifestation. But, um, yeah, it's, it's all about manifesting, you know? It's like, uh, 
whatever you think, um, whatever you think will um, come into play in your movie. So if you walk around going, oh, the cops are going to get me, the cops are going to get me, I'm going to get a ticket, then bang, the cops will get you, man. That's It's what you walked around thinking, and bang, that's what you get. Because uh, in this frequency world I was telling you about, of all the atomic structures, <coughs> um, your mind gives off frequencies as well. So a thought is a frequency, and it goes out into this frequency world, out into the universe, and uh, it's like Santa's list. Whatever you're thinking, uh, you manifest into your life. Everything that's in your life now, you have manifested into your life. That's the way you wrote your book, your Santa's list. So life doesn't matter if it's you know good or bad. Whatever you're thinking, that's what you get. So, you know, and it's like emotional baggage. You, you have to deal with it. You know, you get to a point in your life for a certain age where you can't let emotions control you anymore. You're too old. You're, uh, you've reached a stage where I'm over it. So you've got emotional baggage. So what you do is think about it. Think about the emotion. Feel the emotion then let it go, okay? So don't live in the past. Don't live in the future. Live in the now, okay? So you, that's how you get rid of emotional baggage. Feel the emotion, respond to the emotion, then let it go. So, yeah, it's, it's the only way to deal with emotional baggage. You have to, you know, it's like, it's like being a psychiatrist to yourself, you know, physician heal thyself. But, um, yeah, yeah, so everything's around you is frequencies. You're giving off frequencies in your mind. Your body chakras are giving off frequencies. And, um, yeah, you're basically in an atomic cell because um, being a human being... Um, makes you a prisoner to the body because the body get has to be fed and watered. Um, yeah, and uh, if you like smoking cigarettes, it needs a cigarette or it needs a cup of coffee or it needs a bong or a beer. or So you're a prisoner to the body, but you only use 10% of your brain. So... So only using 10% of your brain, like if you could use 50% of your brain, I am guarantee you can fly. So when they made us, the humans, from the aliens and the yowies, um, yeah, they really put us in a prison, you know. And uh, in the Bible, men in the, uh, around the early stages of the Bible in Genesis were living to a thousand years old. So, yeah, we're all living to about 100, but I don't think our teeth can uh, last more than 100 years. So I don't know how their, their teeth went when they lived to 1,000 years, but I, I know 100 years you, your teeth are worn out. So, yeah, yes, yeah, so that's a big one. But, um, yeah, it's just... Then you've got multiversing, you've got... Um, ultimate dimensions you've got the fourth dimension the fifth dimension the sixth dimension the second dimension the first dimension um, parallel universes you've got dark matter for every one atom of matter there's an anti-matter atom and uh, yeah so you've got like a negative of everything that's around you in, a, in the fourth dimension but um, since we're in a movie I told you, you're in your own personal movie, okay, and you're the fucking star. And I think they film us from the fourth dimension. And, um, yeah, the dead dead watch you anyway, so if your movie's good and it's full of love, compassion, funny things and uh, all the good shit, 
you really master how to um, make your movie funny and good and full of love and and uh, manifest some good shit, then uh, you get on the big screen in heaven and you become a star. So that's what life's all about. But um, if you live your life warrior, healer, king, that's how you should live your life. So, yeah, but I'm just, I'm coming out of me, me healer stage now. I'm still healing people, but but there comes a time where I, I, I'm not going to try and heal anybody anymore because people don't listen. Like, you know what I mean? It's like... I could have all the ideas, but I mean, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. And most people don't want to help themselves, so. Yeah, so I've pretty much given up healing people, and uh, yeah, yeah, so. But that's cool. You know, the stage of being a king, I don't really want to be a king. I'm a Sean, I'm a king's advisor. But, um, yeah, at the end of the day, it's magic. You're in a magical world with the seven archangels who are your props. It's a movie, and I think it's the second rerun. That's why you get uh, Deja Vu because we've all done this before, so it's just a rerun. That's why you, you get premonitions and psychics can tell what's going to happen in your future and basically so we can have time travel, we're doing it again so we don't fuck it up. But check out your number plates as you drive because uh, number plates talk to you. They answer your thoughts. You know, have a look on buses and trucks and what song comes on the radio and what particular word said in a song with your thoughts in your mind. Does it answer your thoughts? Do the number plates talk to you? And check out every messaging, every bit of messaging. Someone rings you, talks about something, something on the TV, something on the radio. Um, somebody says something to you, it's all a message, and you're like, fuck, you know, is it deep undercover messaging that I'm getting right down to the core of God, the Holy Ghost, is communicating? And uh, is it the future talking to you, or is it, you know? you got to work it out, but the future is, uh, is 2,555 AD. They can't go past that because there's a time lock and um, time Nazis are uh, trying to get past it. They want to rule the future. And, uh, yeah, somehow I'm involved with ASIO in the future, 2,555 AD, because I, um, I uh, taught them on YouTube how to do a time machine. So, plus I did teach God. So... Yeah, but yeah, it's all just frequency. So, so like, if you want to bust out of the frequencies, out of the atomic world or the atomic prison that you're in, you get frequency 224, 448, 712, 936 and 1200 and uh, play them through some very large speakers and you'll oscillate the prison cell around you and uh, something will happen, I guarantee you. So, um, yeah, they're the magic numbers. So I um, took me a while to get them. I put a pentagram into a clock when I was 30. Took me three days and I got the numbers. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, so... It's all in your manifesting. It's just a movie. And uh, they don't know what to give you unless you kind of pray or manifest. You know what I mean? Because when you pray, you're talking to the universe. You're telling them about your Santa's list and what you want. But it's, it's manifesting. And 
a picture in your mind. Say you want to drive a Mustang. Now picture in your mind you and the Mustang smoking it up. You know what I mean? Those pictures in your mind of you in a Mustang driving around are stronger than a word going, I want a Mustang. But if you can imagine yourself in the Mustang, standing by the Mustang, um, your manifesting skills are um, a lot better. But they fucked us in the ass uh, when they taught us mathematics and ABC one, two, three, because before that, before we couldn't speak uh, English, or before we were taught English in words, we'd use pictures in our minds. Like a person who can't read or uh, uses pictures uh, a lot more than saying things in their head. Like going, oh, I need a Mustang in a word, you know, like the word in your head goes, oh, I need a Mustang. But people who can't spell or read or write um, don't go, oh, I want a banana and write it, you know, say in there. Well, in their heads they go, oh, I want a banana. But there is an ear in your mind. So remember that because when you're talking away, la di da di da um, you're listening to say, because your voice in your head, you need an ear in your mind to hear your voice. So you've got three ears, okay? One's in your mind. But, um, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's, it's pretty fucking simple shit. But, um, be aware, the grey aliens, um, like to hook into consciousness with their, with their machinery and, uh, listen to our thoughts and uh, control the frequency that conscious thought's on. They, um, if they change the frequency around the earth, then we'd be on a higher thinking level, a higher form of consciousness. But um, yeah, they're, they're little cunts, they can control us. They don't want us to evolve into a higher frequency form of thinking and uh, they're policing thought because uh, I believe the aliens uh, are after the Philosopher's Stone, um, turning metal into gold and giving you eternal life. But, um, yeah, you got the greys, then you got the government. Uh, they listen to your mind as well. They come and saw me when I was 31 and said, we want you to settle down. We're picking up your brain waves. And I was like, who, me? And they're like, yeah, you. So I've got some serious brainwaves going out into the universe. I believe it's an SOS signal, um, an alien SOS signal that my body has sent off to Nibiru, the alien planet that's coming through, because uh, I have alien DNA in me, we all do. Uh, it's when I got traumatised in Somalia, I um, sent off a signal. An SOS signal, and uh, yeah, the government picked it up uh, with their shit down in Tassie, and uh, said, "Yeah, we're picking up your brainwaves." So, so that that spun me out a bit, but fucking, they haven't done anything to me in twenty years. So, they just said, "Do the righty." So, yeah, so the government having a crack too, but if you you got the aliens and the government reading their minds. I mean, you got God and all the heaven and dead people and fucking the spiritual world. I'm sure they can read your mind too. But um, some days it feels like I'm a walking TV set. I'm just a TV series for uh, time Nazis' children to watch. So, you know, you got to have a laugh. Because it's like some of those days you just feel like Sesame Street and uh, you're the teacher. But um, yeah, yeah. So if you, if you ever want to cover your ass, just get a small bar magnet north south and uh, sew it into the top of your hat. Uh, whenever I put a magnet on, in my hat, 
Um, it quietens my mind down, actually. There's no incoming voices and, uh, yeah, shit like that because I think it takes you... Uh, because the magnetic wave over your brain takes you out of the conscious thought and uh, shuts your uh, shuts your incoming radio transmissions down. Um, the GG is fluoride, right? Fluoride calcifies your pineal gland in your brain, and your pineal glands uh, responsible. It's your third eye, really. Uh, is responsible for making melatonin and DMT. Now, the fluoride crystallises it. Now, that plus the left and right hemispheres of your brain acting as magnetics, plus your body's a battery uh, with a crystal in your head, you're a walking crystal radio set. And uh, they use television. It's mind control. Fluoride and television. Eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. So, um, yeah, be aware of fluoride, man. Change, uh, you can get herbal toothpaste and, uh, yeah, and there's fluoride in your tap water, so don't drink tap water either. Yeah, and remember, don't give your dogs tap water either because it's full of chlorine and fucking fluoride. It'll take about two years off their lives. All right, what song can we sing now? I'm going to sing you a song after teaching you. Got to sing you a song after teaching you. Okay, what do we got? Oh, what do we got? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We got a movie to make. <clears throat> what do we got? What song is this? I want to be a cowboy, baby. Da, 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 da. Cowboy, baby. A cowboy, baby. I can smell a pig from a mile away. Constant was my desire for sure. You know, when I was a teenager, I just I wanted to play guitar. I wanted to play guitar. I loved playing guitar. Trying to surround myself with other musicians and, and you know, it's stupid. Well, I'm packing up my game and I'm gonna head out west with real women come equipped with some fake, some fake friends. Find a nest in the hills, chill mm, like a pig, buy a new drop top, find a spot to pick, then I'm gonna. Real McCoy, I'm heading out west, sucker, because I want to be a cowboy, baby. We're back in the sunshine, shining. Cowboy, baby. Let's go chilling with the booze wine. Cowboy, baby. No night, gonna sleep all day. Cowboy, baby. I can smell a pig from a mile away. All right, man. Taught you a bit of shit, so have a good day.